Well, summertime hobby is causing controversy on one of our most popular lakes. Neighbors on Lake Minnetonka say that boats designed for wakeboarding are dangerous to the lake's shoreline, but their petition to regulate them is being met with pushback. The Lake Minnetonka Conservation District heard arguments for and against expanding regulations last night. The biggest change, increasing no egg zones from 150 feet to 300 feet from shore. Adam Duxter spoke to one man leading the fight and others who say the boats aren't dangerous. They go from left to right and right to left. John Bent says he's loved his home on Lake Minnetonka's Maxwell Bay just about the entirety of the 38 years he and his family have lived there. But a recent trend on the water. It's a half a mile across. There's not a whole lot of space. Has him worried. A lot of uh, my neighbors were concerned about the impact uh, wake surfing was having on our bays. Iwoli says the crowding and music tied to wakeboarding is one thing. I would say the number one concern uh, is the environmental impact. In recent months, he and others have asked for more regulations, keeping the boats further from the shore in other people. Some are now petitioning against that happening. You have the tabs here, which also help on generating the wave. Kevin Kirkfleet at River Valley Power Sport in Marine says it's important to remember the boat itself isn't dangerous on its own. We need to have people understand there's a right way and a wrong way to operate their boat on this lake. It's the user and the knowledge and following the existing rules and any rules that would be put in place and, and understand courtesy goes a long way. But Ben says the rocks falling along his shorelines are proof the boats can and do cause damage and says he hopes ongoing research will only confirm new regulations are needed. This is very, very precious resource that we have and uh, we have a responsibility to take care of it, not only for the current generation, but future generations. On Lake Minnetonka, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. The Lake Minnetonka Conservation District will take up the issue again at a meeting on August 10th. A representative says it would take a majority vote from their board to make changes.